Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to export a keynote presentation as a video. So I have a short presentation here and I'm ready to record my narration. So the first thing I need to do is go up to the play menu and click on record slideshow. Hopefully you have spent some time practicing your slideshow. So I am ready to start recording my audio. So for slide one, hello and welcome to the presentation about something. The family visits the beach. What year, what month of the year should they go to the beach? In July, you find the most amount of pollution on the beaches. So they should probably not go in July. So the boys can be happy and enjoy the beach. All right, so after I clicked on the record button, I spoke through my slides. I said what I was prepared to say. And then I clicked pause when I was finished. And then I clicked on the recording button to turn it off. So while you're recording, you can push the pause button so that you can stop, maybe look at your notes, and then restart. But if you um, are just finished, you just click on the recording button to stop the recording. So now we can play it back to hear how it sounded. Hello, and welcome to the presentation about something. Enjoy the beach. Okay, so obviously this example is very short, very simple, nothing very complicated. But as you can see, I also had some transitions and things like that that were recorded. Now that I've finished recording, I can click on the X to exit out of there. I can watch the video by clicking on the play menu and clicking on play recorded slideshow. And then watch myself to evaluate to see how I sounded, what, what mistakes I made, so that I know if I need to edit or re-record. I'm not going to make you watch or listen to the whole thing again. If for some reason you don't like what you've recorded, you can always click on the clear recording button and begin again, which I'm going to do because I'm unsatisfied with my performance. <laughs> so I'm going to click on the play menu again, record slideshow. Actually, first I'm going to fix the slide because that's really annoying that that kind of open overlaps. And we're going to change this. Now, play menu, record slideshow. Click on the record button to begin recording. Hello, and welcome to a short, pre uh, again, bad. So now I'm gonna put, press pause, and I'm actually gonna stop recording, and I'm going to just trash that by clicking on the trash can. Yes, I'm sure I want to clear recording. So, Let's try again. Hello and welcome to a short presentation on something. This family likes to visit the beach. What month of the year should they go to the beach? Which month has the least amount of pollution? Looks to me like for the ocean, the least amount of pollution happens in April, so that's a good time to visit the beach. July is not the best time to visit the beach. The boys like it when there's not a lot of garbage on the beach, so they choose to go in April. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I think that's a lot better, but I could press play and rewatch it again, but I'm not going to this time. I'm just going to close it. And I'm going to click on Play Recorded Slideshow just to check it out. Hello, and welcome to a short presentation on okay. something. So that's going to work. So now that I've finished recording my narration, I can go to File, 
export to QuickTime. Now that the export your presentation menu is open, we're going to actually leave the settings as default. The playback as show uh, slideshow recording is the recording that we just made with your voiceover. Self-playing would allow you to choose the number of seconds that each slide is displayed and record them as a video with no narration. Then I click on next and I give it a good name and I know the location of where it's saving. Then I click on export again and wait. When, you, when the movie finishes exporting, you can play it with QuickTime. Hello and welcome to a short presentation. Okay, so this file could be uploaded into iMovie in order to edit if you made mistakes like I did and would like to cut out some of what you say. You can go and edit in iMovie or you can upload it directly to YouTube. So you just go to YouTube, you click, uh, make sure that you're logged in as your school account, click on the upload button, and then drag and drop your video file into the space. It will upload, it will take some time. Uh, you can make sure that you choose public or unlisted as your privacy settings. You do not want private because then your teachers and peers will not be able to see it. So make sure that it's unlisted or public. I'm going to go with unlisted for this one because it's not very good. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask me. Thank you for watching.